Well, hey there. I am here today with Ruvi Makuni. She is the CEO and founder of Fit Active Tone. And uh, in these crazy times, no better person to talk to and consult with is she knows her stuff. So Ruby, why don't you talk to us about your business and, and what, what you can do, what you do for people and businesses? Sure. Thank you, Doreen, for having me here. Thank you very much. Um, so I founded Fit Active Toned and I'm a corporate wellness specialist and as well as a fitness trainer. And my mission is to empower busy professionals to take control of their health again. Because, um, you know, our businesses and our work lives have practically taken over our lives. And there's no separation anymore for, you know, a lot of times between professional and um, private lives. You know, people hardly go on vacations anymore. Or if they do, they're constantly on their phones checking to see what's happening at the office. Uh, you know, even during the work day, uh, hardly but there was actually saying that the lunch break is becoming obsolete because people will work through lunch breaks because you know they're so afraid to or they're just inundated with a lot of work that they're forgetting about their own health and, and themselves and so it, it just seems to be work 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 so my mission is to to really you know, help and alert employees that our health, their health is equally as important as, you know, their their passion in, in, in the workplace and that it's very, very important, especially during these times to, to you know, to, um, to take care of our health. And I think, as you said, especially during these times when people are working from home, it's definitely hard to sometimes delineate okay this is work and this is not work whatever that might look like so I agree so how do would you service I know you service companies and and their employees corporate and then also do you work with private clients as well Yes, definitely. And in fact, that's how I initially started. Um, I was a fitness trainer and I was actually a boot camp instructor for a while. And then I, I ended up um, uh, expanding into more personal training. And I started doing in-home training for actually busy professionals and, you know, uh, managers who couldn't necessarily get to the gym or who found that they were too busy to to exercise. So I wanted to make it convenient by actually going to people's homes and, and, you know, and if I'm knocking on the door, um, hardly anyone's going to turn me away. <laughs> you know, so you better um, do it, right? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> exactly. Wakey, wakey. <laughs> but even with that, I also realized, well, I realized two things. Um, a lot of times my clients were very, very stressed and overwhelmed and very tired that even getting through our sessions, you know, I could just see the fatigue in them. And with that stress and fatigue, it also impacts how we eat and, and um, you know, our, our behaviors at work. And let's not forget too, because people are, are constantly working, sitting for eight plus hours a day, that's also impacting our um, our, our, our bodies in, in, you know, back pain, shoulder pain, neck pains. So I realized that with, um, with a lot of my clients. And then secondly, I also realized that some of my clients would cancel because they had to go to work early or they had a project due or, you know, something to that, to that effect that was work related. And it was at that point that I realized that, you know, I, I'm sort of competing with the workplace. And I also realized that, that there's definitely a need to sort of refocus um, and, and shift back to 
our own personal well-being. Um, you know, there's a concept or idea that it's selfish to take care of ourselves, but um, but it's really not, and it's it's important, especially uh, as I keep mentioning, <laughs> especially now more than ever. Yeah, I agree, and yes, exercise and your own health are usually the first things to to be pushed aside when we get busy or we get stressed or whatever and when actually that could be the best thing for you to do exactly increase productivity and uh, as well i agree i always feel better after i after. Just have a walk or a run or or something um and when exactly. i'm eating better um, so what would you say is your greatest, your biggest challenge in this business? Yeah. One of the challenges is overcoming the perception that, you know, wellness programs are extremely expensive, especially for small, medium sized businesses. They sort of shy away from, um, you know, from incorporating any wellness programs. But especially with my programs, I really customize them according to the business itself and the the budget. And it's also, you know, and and people think that wellness programs have to be elaborate and um, you know, and, and that they're time consuming. And so that's where I come in and and I work with um, you know the company leaders or the um, office manager or the HR manager and uh, after we um, assess what the employees need and want which is very important um, I design and launch the program and I monitor it for them so they don't have to spend a lot of time on it um, you know so it's not it's not taking away from their personal duties as well mm -hmm. um, and then also Another challenge, surprisingly, is convincing companies that this is important. Um, wellness of your employees is important. Um, with the pandemic, you know, a lot of companies will, and wellness programs are the first things to, to be eliminated from, you know, the budget. But um, it, it should be probably at the top of the list right now. And yeah going forward. <clears throat> how are you meeting or serving clients? I know you're not meeting with clients, but how are you serving them during this pandemic? Wow, virtually, that's the new <laughs> Of course, <laughs> of course. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's, uh, it, it's been interesting because uh, as you, you know, you know, a lot of companies have had to completely shift to mm -hmm. online um, with those that are able to. So it's a whole, um, it's a whole nother dimension for a lot of companies and for a lot of employees. Because um, uh, teleworking, although it's always been around, there are still some companies that are not necessarily, uh, you know, for teleworking or had didn't have teleworking as part of their program and teleworking five days a week, seven days a week, you know, that's, um, that's a challenge in itself. So uh, one of the things I am definitely seeing is employees are feeling very isolated, you know, because, uh, you know, being at the office, you get that social interaction, um, and oh, as you, yeah. <laughs> exactly. and as you rightfully mentioned earlier, um, you know, uh, people are now working constantly now uh, being at, at home and there's less activity because there's no walking to the cooler or there's no motivation actually to, to do much of anything, um, especially with the fear of the future um, mm -hmm. and, you know, the, the stress of it. So we've taken it virtually um, and trying to offer as much support as, as possible um, to employees, just uh, particularly addressing two main things, the isolation feeling and the stress, stress, managing stress in um, uneasy times. Um, and so that's why I'm doing a, an actual webinar for organizations 
uh, but uh, on the topic of managing stress during uneasy times. And this is completely complementary. It's open to any organization. Um, and because I think it's important to let your employees know that, uh, you know, the top management cares and we're all in this together. Mm -hmm. And I think that would make employees feel so much better to that if that was in place, it's a, it's a resource when I'm feeling isolated, when I'm feeling stressed, when I um, need that line between I'm working all the time and, and I just need some to carve out some space. Okay. So, exactly. So do you work one-on-one? -on -one? Do you work in, a, in groups? How, how generally, I know you work with the corporations and their employees. So do you set up consultations and then follow up and meeting virtually like this one-on-one -on -one? do you do some group work sure so um it's a combination of both um so for example the webinar i mentioned earlier it it could be a group of um you know attendees the company is open to all attendees so it can be anywhere from you know five to fifty people um especially using zoom you know it's, <laughs> so so it's almost like an in-house lunch and learn but it's it's virtual mm -hmm. uh, but um especially now they have been more requests for individual coaching as well so then uh, if that's part of the program or it's a we can add it on no problem then i do meet individually virtually with with um with people as well especially now people are really asking for help and coaching and direction with stress eating um mm -hmm. and also getting now that the gyms are closed as well um you know people are asking for for motivation as far as fitness uh, home workouts and, and and things like that so oh, wow and you kind of point them in that direction and help them I know you have expertise in that field, but yeah, do you make some Indeed. plans, individual plans and, and? Yes, in fact, I have an online program, fitness program for people to, so I design workouts for them and they can, it's actually an app or you can go on the website and the uh, people can do their workouts at home and I can always tell when a workout's been done. So I, I check in with them. So I'm almost like a personal trainer that's um, from a virtual personal trainer, actually. Oh, that's, that's good, yeah. too. That's actually really good. And um, tell us where we would find that in information or the place to log in or get information about that or any of your programs. Sure. So, um, fitactivetoned.com, um, that's uh, the app. Uh, and the workout program and in fact for it, your audience I'm offering two weeks um, you know complimentary access uh, you know for just to test it out try it out or even get just like a, a boost you know mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> uh, to get yeah. some inspiration exactly so oh, my wow. website, and then there um, from there it will take you to other platforms like my main page facebook page um twitter and everything okay that'll be uh, that'll be in the link i'll provide that link yeah. at the end i'll, yeah. I'll, I'll uh, put that out there um yeah. ruby uh, it's always good to talk to you i i always get such a sense of calm <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I speak with you. You, just, you, you. I definitely, I can see you practice what you what you preach. And, oh, uh, thank you, thank you very much, Doreen. Thank yeah. you. So, if anybody is looking for a way to de-stress and stay fit, stay toned, stay active, uh, Ruby is is your gal. Go ahead there, and I, as I said, I'll post the uh, your website and where people can get in touch with you. So. Thank you very much. And I'll be checking in with you too to make sure you're okay. moving. <laughs> <laughs> I am moving every day. The dogs make me move every day. <laughs> they do. They don't let me sit around. They well, me that's me. good. That's I good. Have, you know, I have and motivators I here. I have <laughs> 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 Thanks again, Ruby. And um, I, I, I stay well. Stay well. You too. Thank you very much.